How's it going, viewers? Brad Prider, Barstool Entertainment, doing another Vice City um, video. Talking to you about um, jumps and doing the jumps are the best way for you to rack up some money relatively quickly. And these jumps have to be done in a certain way and you got to land a certain way. Otherwise, they're not going to count and you got to keep redoing them until it actually counts. And the thing is with these high speed jumps is that you build up money. Your first jump is 100 bucks, second jump is 200, third jump 300, 400, 500, it adds up quickly. So if you need some money, do some jumps. Because just doing missions ain't going to do it for you. Now I'm getting Tommy lined up for a specific series of jumps. Unfortunately, I didn't get it right. And I got the first one, but there's a second one that has to be done back to back. I'm going to show you the first one, and then I will go to how to get the series done correctly. And right back here, Tommy's lining up on the map here. And now let's stick the jump. Tommy got 100 for the jump and another 53 for an insane stump, stunt jump bonus. Now, he missed another ramp he should have hit and overshot things. So, a little too much power. And he's going to return. I'm going to have him return. And we're going to try and do this stunt jump again. And I'll show you how it's done correctly to get both jumps in a row correct I'm gonna have Tommy bring back to just behind the rampage area bring it back just a little bit to this point and go for it Did not make it to the opposite roof, but Tommy didn't need to. As you saw, it already said he completed the first jump. He had already done the first stunt, but then he got 200 for the second one. And that is the fun part of stunt jumps is first one is 100, next is 200, then the third's going to be 300. It adds up like that. You get 10 jumps, you get 1,000. You get 11 jumps, you get 1,100. As you complete more, you rack up money. And there's like 100 jumps, I believe, throughout Vice City. I'm not going to show you all of them, but you can use stunt jumps to rack up money. And if you need to buy properties to start missions, which is one of the things that is unfortunately part of Vice City. This is a great way, a fun way to farm some extra cash and get stuff done quickly. So keep an eye out for stunt jumps. I'm doing another one right here. And I'll show you how this goes. There's some hidden weapons also up here on the Washington Mall. So I'll let things play out and let you see what happens.
Where is El Café Romana? You saw that. $300 for Tommy's third stunt jump. And when he does his fourth, it'll be $400. Like I said, when I started this video game on my Xbox Series X, I just did a total rookie Vice City mistake, screwed myself up. But now I restarted and I'm going to do it right. Rack up some stunt jumps, rack up some money. Buy some properties, continue the missions. Yeah, that's how you do it. I remember playing this when I had a PlayStation 2. I still have my guide. I kept it. I can't believe I kept it, but I found it. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, Hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post five video game related videos a week, Monday through Friday, plus some shorts and specials on the weekends potentially, and you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for stopping by.